What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for another base review. Today we're taking a look at Luxury Base, uh, no, I'm sorry, Luxury Bunker. Uh, this is a very well done one, something I would definitely recommend that a uh, group of friends maybe create a server on and use. It's definitely multiplayer friendly, there's so much going on in here, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so, these little hoverboards, they're nice, they're cute, but, uh, they don't really go too fast. I guess it's a, it's a way of saving energy, I guess. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your food uh, going down. Uh, but other than that, yeah, cool little thing, but not exactly, I mean, it's just a, just a little cool thing to add it. Other than that, everything else is done pretty well. I do like uh, pretty much everything interactive. It's a very functional base. There's not too much decoration, which I like. I think um, there's three different floors. We're on the first. Uh, this is the kitchen. It's pretty much ready to go. There's storage everywhere. I believe there's even... You know, it's, it's got nothing too crazy now that's one thing i do like about this base there's storage for everything everywhere so if you're got a lot of people coming in and out just even on the top floor uh you're good to go there there's also bedrooms pretty much everywhere as well let's go over here And this is kind of like a little private, little storage room. You could add a couple more things in here if you wanted to. <laughs> okay, this is another one of the decorative things. This is just a fake bathroom, which I don't mind because there's I like sometimes I, I get annoyed when there's a lot of decorative things that don't do anything. But I'm like I don't mind it if the rest of the base is functional. This one is definitely functional. All the beds are made of actual beds. Now look at this, this looks like a really good bed. I like the design, it's cool, but most important, it's functional. They made it out of real beds. I get so tired of coming into these and you, and you come up to the bedroom and it's a fake bed. And it's like, dude, just make it out of real beds so that people can actually sleep in it. It makes no sense to make a fake bed when you have so many different versions of a regular bed that you could put in uh, some type of design around and people can actually use it so this is the bedroom on the top floor i think there's a bedroom in every single floor there's a little living area and there's a map telling you where everything is at so if you do happen to forget you know you're good to go okay so we've already checked out the kitchen yeah that's another chest room <laughs> bedroom let's keep going this way Yes, and you have our own little security guards scattered throughout the whole entire base. And these guys are just, they're still on Garlem, so if a mob pops up in here, which every now and then one does, because there are some dark areas, every now and then one will pop up, and they'll come and they'll take it out. The only one, only, I haven't seen any creepers yet, so um, I've been playing it for a while, I haven't seen any creepers yet. That's something you would have to watch out for. Um... But other than that, if you happen to see one, I mean, there were there are some areas that could use a little bit more light. I would kind of put it there. But for the most part, I, I didn't really get too many things spawning in. I mean, I got some slimes uh, spawning in, but you kind of can't stop those uh, once you get down to the lower areas. Okay. As you can see, we're in the party room. And the cool thing is those lights... Let's see. This is the different bathrooms. This is all decorative. Um, where are the light controls? Like over here? No. Oh yeah, there, then there is drink stations and crafting tables right here. I'm 
trying to think, where did I see the controls for the floor? There it is, they're over here, okay. You can set it to the different things, to loop. You can change it to one of the specific settings and let and hold it there. It's actually done pretty well, I actually like that. Then you can just pretty much set up the uh, different musics that you want. And kind of like a little disco, a little an actual functioning disco. Like I said, for the most part, everything functions in some type of way. Like even this, okay, this TV is just a, a bunch of their different advertisements. But hey, it's something. You know, it's not a, it's a blank, it's not a blank TV. It's somewhat is functional. It's doing something. Now come in here to the library. Now, of course, there's no lampus in here, but I mean, you can easily go get it and, and put it in a chest nearby. And just bring it with you or just simply put a chest in here. There's plenty of spots. You can just easily throw a chest. I, I normally get a little annoyed when there's not lampus with the um, uh, enchanting table, but... I realize I'm like, yeah, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. You can easily throw another one in if you want. Okay, let's go on down to the next level. I mean, the, the base has so much of everything else that I, it, it doesn't bother me. Okay, this is the second level. As you can see, they added a cinema, there's a swimming pool, a bathhouse. The bathhouse is actually done really well. I don't see why you would need a bathhouse in Minecraft, but... The idea is, holds up. Uh, it's pretty cool when you go inside. So let's see. Over here, I believe, is the pool. I want to say it's the pool, or is it? I think this is. No, this is the bat house. Like they they set it up rather nice. It's actually pretty cool what they did in here. I'm like, it feels like I'm in one of those spas. <laughs> and there's two. There's a, there's a, there's a lady's bathhouse and a guy's bathhouse. See, that was the guy's and that other one's the lady's. Then over here, I believe this is the pool. Yes. This is the pool area. And it does have a mini game as well that you can play. That's the cool thing about this. It comes with, I think, two or three mini games. Now you gotta do is start here, and then what you'll do is it'll spawn you in here, and the goal is to swim through these different things be without having to take a breath. It. it takes a little getting used to, but that's the, that's that's the one of the mini games. So it's cool because you you actually get things you can do. It's not just a swimming pool here just to be here. Swimming pool here, and then you and your friends can challenge one another. Going up. Welcome to the cinema. Another, I want to say this is just another washroom. <laughs> now, there's really nothing really going on back here. Just another place you can store things if you like. Again, the cinema is just like the other TV. It, it plays a lot of their uh, <laughs> advertisements for some of some of the other maps they've done. Um, it's okay. It, like I said again, it works. It's something, you know. One, I, I always go on and on about. I, I wish they had it doing something. So even if you're just coming in here chilling with friends while talking, uh, while on the server, hey, at least you guys got something to do. 
it functions somewhat. <laughs> Back up here. See what I mean? Okay, see? Few things over here. That's what I said. There's some areas you're going to want to actually put. There you go. There are some areas you're going to want to come and relight up. Now, this is a PvP arena. And you and your friends can choose a side, choose a team. Then go down there and go out your exit and uh, fight. I actually think it's pretty cool how they have it set up. You can even come over here and get the certain type of gears you want. All you got to do is push the button and it automatically gives it to you. Then you can come out here and fight one another. It's, it's actually set up pretty well. I like that. I, you know what? I think it would have been cool that they had would have been you have a PV p arena and then on the other side should have been a pve arena okay you got a training room this is mostly decorative <laughs> you know there's really nothing going on i guess if you guys wanted to practice be without having the score going on about out there but i just don't see i don't see why you would do that Now, this is the working shooting range, and this is the, another one of the mini games. Uh, all you really got to do is come over here, and it gives you bow, it gives you arrows, and then the second you actually hit one of those, it starts the mini game. Get over there. So it's one, hit one. There we go. <laughs> this one's a harder one because you got that, and then it's easier in the middle because you got a better view of everything. So yeah, I like that. That's pretty cool. Like I said, actual working mate. And now this could be a race because then you all, each could get your own different type of, uh, you know, Wait, I hear something. Like I said, things move. As you see, it's very dark in here, so things do spark, uh, uh, spawn in here. I would definitely come in here, maybe knock out some of the floor and put some uh, maybe sea lanterns in here, something to light up, to light the area up a little better. Also, this chest has uh, a couple of different enchanted things ready to go as well. They're, 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 not all the chests are empty. Some chests will have things in it. Now this here is an animal soccer game, as well as a little parkour, little course. Now, I didn't get a chance to test how the soccer game works because you really need, you have to have two people. Because it, it makes you split up in two teams and if there's no one on the other team, it will not start. So I didn't get a chance to check that because I didn't have anybody, uh, any one of my friends on uh, for me to actually invite on to see, but it looks cool. Definitely cool. Moving on, like we still got a lot more to see. <laughs> okay, so did we see everything? Let me double check because there's so much going on. Oh yeah, there's another bedroom. I don't think we got to yet. Was it this way? That's the thing, the place is so big, it's very hard to remember which way you're going. It's not that way. Back up. Back up. Right that way. Hang on. That's the cinema and the swimming pool. We just need to keep going. Uh, which? That's the cinema. So it should have been this way. No. <laughs> like it, it's that easy to get lost sometimes. I'm still trying to get the hang of uh, where everything is here. 
I kind of got turned around when I... Okay, bathhouse. Hmm. You know what? Let's just keep going. It's just another bedroom. We are. It's pretty much set up just like the other one. Okay, this one has some of the really good stuff. It's got a hidden vault. It's got gardens. It's got a farm. It's got pet room, which is basically where all the farmable animals are. Another big chest room. All of it. Okay, so first things first. Let's head this way. So this is telling you about the hidden bunker with inside the bunker. <laughs> which I did find, and I'll show you guys how to find too. Again, we have this little decorative living area. You can turn that TV on again, and it'll start showing all those different things. So, a good chunk of this is just decorative. Looks cool. We come in here, steal again, more decorative stuff. Looks cool. <laughs> so. You have a little pet here. And then over here is where the hidden bunker is. Okay, at first it looks like you can't get in. But what, what I would do too, and like I might add, I would add like a trap door here because this button here is what opens it. And you're, you're good to go. I would add like a maybe like a wooden trap door or something over top of that that you then um, you look at it and then you put it you know every time you want to do it you just open it up that way if you truly wanted to keep it you can yeah, there's ways to clean this up like to put things in front of this there's a couple like you maybe put a painting in front of one over, over it so you can't see it and then you can walk through it and then at the same time just put like a trap door over this that you open and close. It would fit in. It would look like decoration and no one would see it. And then you have your own little private area no one can figure out how to get to. And then you've got more slime. Like I said, once you get down to these lower levels, that is one thing that I am constantly finding is a bunch of slimes. Now this is this is a long uh, base review because of just how much we have to see. Actually, let's go this way first. It's so another thing I like. I like how they have this set up. You have an in portal. You have a nether portal. Both of them ready to go. And then you have a trophy room. So you can put all your favorite things here. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to keep going this way. Now this little control room here. You can open and close the doors to the individual areas. Definitely like it. I think it's cool. Maybe if uh, something spawned in there and you didn't want it to get to the rest of the base. Otherwise, I think it's just something that looks cool. Okay, here is... What is this? The garden? Yes, this is the garden. Definitely looks cool. It's just a flower garden. This is where you want to be. This is where the animals are. Now, this area here does spawn a lot of dangerous things. So, making a couple more lighting sources in here would definitely help. I have had to fight off creepers. I've had to fight off skeletons. 
it, it's set up very dangerous because you want to be able to farm these animals regularly. They're going to provide food and other items. So you're going to want to come in here and light this area up a little better. Because these, it should be, be plenty of light. See what I'm talking about? There's a creeper right over there. It should be plenty of light, but it's not. And it's too high up. And so as a result, whew, as a result, as you can see, there's a lot of <laughs> dangerous mobs. But it had all, all the different animals. It had pigs. It has cows. It, it has uh, rabbits, chickens. Everything's in there. And uh, there's enough in there for you to start spawning more in. I just would say you need to go in there and definitely light the area up. Yeah, this is another just basically a giant crafting and chess room. Hang on, let's get past this guy and I can show you guys what I mean. Oh, well, he can't get out anyway. Back up. Back up. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of the, the uh, guards have been coming in and killing them. There's a lot of them. <laughs> so, there's, I, I, that's another thing I like. There's a little enchanting table here that's also ready to go. And you could easily store a bunch of lapis here with everything and be able to come in, quickly create and enchant things and be good to go. There's even an anvil like... You can do everything in here. That's why it says a chest room, but I say it's chesting, a chest room and a crafting room. So much to go through. I'm trying to hurry up, guys. I'm sorry. I normally try to make these short, but there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. So these are automatic farms. You simply go to the control room that's in here, which I thought was pretty cool. Wheat one. And it all falls down there. And then you can go down to the end over here and collect it. There we go. That one. This one's almost full though. But every, like, it all kind of is here, and then as that one gets full, it goes to a different one and keeps going down. So you it, you can gather a bunch here. And now my favorite part about this, especially once you see there is nether, um, nether wart here. You have the start of your own mine right here. It says cave. This is the start of a mine. Okay, plenty of things already exposed. There's diamonds in here. Iron ready to go, then eventually it stops and you can start doing your own thing. That's what I'm trying to say. This base kind of covers a lot of my bases that I like to uh, assign to bases for a good base. Have good accessibilities. It's easy to get in and out. Easy to get to storage, have a lot of storage, have working beds, <laughs> uh, have actual beds in here, and farm, nether portal, crafting tables, all that's here. And another big thing is if you're not going to have a lot of the resources that I would need to get started on certain things, um, make it so I can get to it. And all that is here. All that is here. So I, I definitely like the setup of this very well done base. Now let's go up top and I will show you guys the surrounding area. So as you can see, not it didn't take like once you know, once you get the layout of the land and you know where you're going, it doesn't take that long to get to it. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of things you're if you were just living out of this this is set up for multiple people this is not a single person base this is definitely a multiplayer base you've got a big server that you play with your friends and you guys want to get in right away exploring and building right off the back without having to worry about like a base of operations or setting up something this is a, definitely a map to do it on let me switch over to creative so that i can fly and show you guys 
the surrounding area, which is actually a pretty good starting up surrounding area. You have three different villages very close nearby, and I believe they're all populated. You have this one, this one, and I believe there's another one not too far. Well, it definitely got the two. This one and then that one. Could have sworn there was another one, but I don't remember which direction it was in. Now, the uh, you've got plain biomes right next to where the base pops up, as you can see right there. So if you did want to start building something right away where you're at, you could. If not... You've got all the resources right there in there to start building different ways of getting started. You can start taming horses and stuff and going right on to exploring and then building off that. Got a little bit of swamp biome. Now, this is one of the few seeds that doesn't instantly go into an ocean biome or a desert biome. But it is still nice. You've got birchwood floors, swamp. A little bit of mountains, no big cliffs. But still, still a nice setup. And I do like it. It does look like a nice place to start exploring and having some fun with. So, that is going to end this review, guys. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I'm trying to do... Uh, whenever I see a good looking base, I try to cover it. Um, this one, I definitely recommend picking up. Wasn't too expensive. Uh, how much was this? Uh, I think it was like maybe four or five bucks. Not bad because you get a lot with this base. And I said, this is definitely a multiplayer server base. where You got a bunch of friends on one server and you guys want a good place to start. I would do this. I'd start a server on this map with this base. For sure. Definitely gets my recommendation for a good base. Sorry, guys. This is a long base one. But as you can see, there was a lot we had to see in it. All right, guys. Also, don't forget, the second channel is still up. And I hope you guys go check it out. If you're a Halo fan, that's the first video is based off Halo lore. And I mix in some facts about real world things in there as well for comparison reasons. Uh, if you guys understand, you need to go see it. Like, trust me, you'll probably enjoy it even if you're not a Halo fan. It's just some interesting facts in there. So definitely go give it a chance to, if you if you would like. Uh, I'll leave a, a link to the channel down in the description below. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Average Arcader out.